Anthony Smith getting ready for his big main event this weekend, going to take on Ryan Spann, and he was talking about John Jones, and Anthony made a very simple comment. It was very light, and the comment was just that the division has moved on from John Jones. And John Jones decided to remove himself from the division just as everybody was catching up with him. All right, stop. Let's take a look at that. Take a look at what Anthony's saying. And if anybody has earned the right to an opinion as it pertains to John Jones or it pertains to 205 pounds, it's Lionheart. Let's take a look at what he said. He makes a very fair point that guys were definitely catching and the matches were getting very much closer and closer when John said goodbye. Tiago Santos was one of those last fights, but that went to a split decision. Dominic Reyes was one of those last fights, was the very last one, but it went to a split decision. So these were getting tighter, these were getting closer, and then you have to ask yourself, okay, where is Santos now and where is Reyes now? And if those were the guys that were really pushing John, are they still the top guys? Or is there yet even another crew to come? And I think that's maybe what Anthony was speaking about. And every fighter will go through that. I think we're going to be left to speculate, is that what John's going through? John has not been overly open with us. We just know he doesn't want to fight. You can put any reason you want. You'll start to hedge your bets. You'll start to look around. There's only so many options. Hanging your hat on money. It's not enough money. Okay, fine. That one seems to be okay. And there's only a few ways you can get out of a fight without having to suffer embarrassment. That one seems to be okay. Great. And that's what John has told us. He's hung his hat on money, but he doesn't want to fight. If he does want to fight again, it's not going to be at this weight class. It's going to be at a different weight class. And by the way, don't even ask me to fight at the second weight class until X amount of time goes by and I put on muscle. Okay. But the message is still the same. I don't want to fight. Whether it's money, whether it's size, whether it's X amount of time, the answer is I don't want to fight. All we're trying to figure out is why. Is it because he feels the competition has passed him by? And every athlete is going to go through that. Every athlete at one point, right, just like an alcoholic, this is my last drink, just like a gambler, one my last hand, an athlete will do the same thing. My whole life will be okay. Everything's going to work out. I just need this one more. Is that what John's going through? Now, to some extent, it would sure make sense. It would make sense to guess that. We would only know if John comes out and tells us. The other side of it, is it fair? Because we have seen people in this sport that have been victims of their own success. They get to be so damn good that it's all or nothing. Ronda Rousey is a fine example, but Ronda had so much left, right? Ronda had, on her worst day, what most athletes are striving for on their best, to be a top 10 fighter, to be a me have a meaningful place on the card, be that main event, that co-main event status have a bunch of people want to stop what they're doing, come and watch you, wear your t-shirts out. Rhonda had that. She was top 10. She became a victim of her own success in that she was such a draw. Her contract called for so much money. If you were going to use her, you had to put her in a main event. And if you're going to be in main events, you have to be fighting for world championships. So why Rhonda couldn't get over on the Amanda Nunes or the Holly Holmes of the world, she could get over on the next seven. She could have gone out there if that's what she wanted to do, competed, been one of the gals, have a goal, have purpose in life, have a drive, and have gotten great results. But she was never put in a spot where do you want to fight number seven? Do you want to fight number eight? Hey, third fight of the night on the pay-per-view and we're going to put... She was not in those spots. She was a victim of her own success in some ways. And I just submit for you, is that what we're doing to John? Very hard to weigh in on what we should do with John without hearing from John. And the only thing we hear from John is, I don't want to fight. Okay, if that's it, it's a hard stop and we'll exit stage left. But is that really what it is? Would you fight under certain circumstances? Like if John has to come back and he has to fight the world champion, which he's changing weight classes, that happens to be Francis, who is huge. And John has already said, I have some trepidations about going up in size. Now you want me to go up in size, which I've agreed to do, but you want to take me the absolute biggest man. Oh, and by the way, you want it for five rounds. Like, I think that you could see where if you were in John's spot, you might look at it and go, why do I have to be a victim of my own success? Why do I have to fight for the championship? Why can I not come out and do a middle ground? Give me a co-main event. Okay, let me try three rounds before I do five. Give me a guy who's bigger than I'm used to, but not as big as Francis. I'll insert a Stipe for you. 
start to see where that's going to go. And I know there was some talk at one point about Stipe and John. But I never heard it from John's side, right? I heard it from Stipe's old lady, but then Dana made something known at a press conference. Stipe was in training for us, but we never really heard from John's side. And all I'm attempting to do is guess. I don't want to be unfair to John and say, you have to go fight Francis. Ha ha. No, you don't have to go fight the biggest guy for 25 minutes your first time up. And it can't also be, or you stay at home in Albuquerque and you don't get to do anything, or, or you're making him a victim of his own success. There has to be a middle ground at least offered, at least a discussion of that size, the time duration. He's been out a period of time. Is it the absolute best in the world? Is it one of the guys who's one of the best in the world? But right? there has to at least be a conversation, or we are being a little bit unfair to Jones.